in the second demo problem we must formulate a linear optimization problem from a verbal description. In this problem, Matti, a farmer, wants to decide how much rye and wheat to plant for the coming year in order to maximize his profit, given a certain price for the rye and wheat. But he is constrained by the amount of farmland he owns and the amount of labor he can perform, as well as government regulations. Let's examine the solution. First, we have the objective function, which consists of the amount of profit each acre of wheat produces and the amount of profit each acre of rye produces. So here we have 4 times 25 times how many acres of wheat and here 3 times 10 times the amount of acres of rye and we sum them up. Next we only have 7 acres of land available. We sum up the amount of land used and say that it's less or equal to 7. Then we constrain the amount of labor hours. Each acre of wheat uses 10 and each acre of rye uses 4. So we constrain their sum below 40. And finally we include the government regulations of how much rye we must produce and also the acreage is cannot be negative. Next, let's go to Julia. Here we have the full optimization problem as described in the solution and the Julia model similar to the first demo. We can just run it and now we get the optimal amount of wheat produced and rye and also Matti's optimal profit. Similarly to the first demo, we can also solve the problem in spreadsheets. Let's select the solver, the objective function, the variables, the constraints, And like so. And let's solve, keep the results, and we get the same results as in Julia.